All right, all right. We got some. We got somebody special in the building. China Trap is in the building. Yes, sir. Hello, everybody. Yes, sir. Man, so let's 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 finally. let's finally it is happening to me <laughs> right in front. Anyway, listen. We 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 came we came to know each other uh by way of a, another female driver uh we was actually we were supposed to talk about a year year and a half ago and uh yeah, just about yeah and and i i i don't think it it never materialized because of i, I i'm not sure what happened so is you know what it i was, was saying really clashing of schedules okay but without yeah. but without saying any without saying any names because I don't want to you know but is you and that other driver still cool? Mm -hmm. The other driver in particular that I made a video about? Uh no, not that one. We're going to get to that one in a minute. But oh. the initial oh, Yeah, the, that's my girl. Okay, okay, because the initial that is yeah, the initial meetup was supposed to be me, you, and her, the other driver. We were supposed to come together and promote the She Trucking Trucking Expo. So Yes. Now she um I I do wanna ask for prayers for her. Because she is going through some things that she she has disclosed on her TikTok and things, but she is going through so um a uh, really serious medical condition. So I I want prayers for her. Like that's my girl. Okay. She's, okay. Okay. She's, yeah. She's shout out. Solid with me. Yeah. Shout out to uh shout out to her speedy recovery. Uh, prayers up and all that good stuff. Okay. China yes, trap. Yes. All right, so you you've been you you you've been TikToking and trucking for quite a long time. How long how how long have you been a uh, been a truck driver? I've been truck driving for a year and six months, but um, right now I'm on an endeavor to go with another influencer on the truck. So I'm not going to be driving with my husband anymore. So. I and I've been TikToking since June. I want to say mm, May of last year. Okay, okay. And the and the and first video that pretty much went viral for you is when you switched over from uh from sales. I'm assuming to trucking. Mhm. Mm mhm. That's so, when I switched over. Like I was just posting miscellaneous things and. <laughs> the first time I posted like one of my trucking videos, I got 500 likes, and I was like, "Whoa!" <laughs> okay, okay. So this is this. I've been unlocked something with this. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. So initially, you you before trucking, you you was what looked like you was working at Foot Locker or a shoe store or something like that, right? No, I was working at um. So before I got into trucking, like I worked a lot of different jobs. Uh, I prior to exactly when I started trucking, I was um, selling cars, and then I had my own business doing graphics. So I was a graphic designer, and then the one on the video, I was working at True Religion and UGG at the same time. I was working two okay. jobs. Okay, okay. I always really worked. Two but jobs. it was still sales, though, right? Mhm. Mm it was. It was sales. Okay. Okay. Now, your 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 number comes up as uh as Nevada. So you you're from mm -hmm. the you're you're from Nevada. You from Las uh, Vegas or where where you at exactly? I was born in Las Vegas, but raised in Oklahoma. So I have you know different <laughs> different sides of me. I'm my Vegas side, I'm my Oklahoma side, and I done moved many places in my life, so I really, really can't claim one place, honestly. Okay. But okay. I was, you want to say, I'm born, I was born in Vegas. Okay. So, 
are you back in Vegas now, or where where do you hail at now? You you just be a broad spectrum. Mm. No, I just I, I live in Atlanta. Atlanta. Whoop. Whoop. Mm. Mm. What, what was the what was the allure? What was the allure from Oklahoma, uh, Las Vegas, and now Atlanta? What, what what was the lure to Atlanta other than the heat? Uh, cause uh, when I met my husband, so I met my husband working at True Religion in Las Vegas. So when I met him, uh, Vegas just started going downwards. Like every time we look over our shoulder, it's always something happening or something going on. And it was just some crazy situations. It was like Vegas is not it. So, um, you know, tax season come around, you know, when, when people get their taxes, that's when people want to relocate. Right, right. And uh, taxes came around and, uh it was just like, let's move to Atlanta. And we packed up three cars. It was me and my husband's entire family. And uh, my mom, she already lived in Atlanta. And my sister already did. So we all just moved to Atlanta one time. All right. So you, 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 you mentioned that you're not trucking with your... A uh, husband anymore. So your your husband's uh, your uh, your husband the truck driver too. Yes, he is. He's so, been trucking for eight years. He's been trucking since he was twenty one. Okay, okay, okay. So he was the inspiration for you to get your CDLs. Very much so. He was the inspiration. He pushed me every step of the way. He he every look up like every time i wanted to leave a job go get your cdl every time i was stressed about some money go get your cdl like it was just always his answer was go get your cdl and i just never felt like i could get my cdl because of my height so impossible but you shouldn't think like that because look i'm doing it and uh if you don't know i'm four foot nine so I just felt like I was too short to do it. God damn. Four foot nine, man. Four four foot nine? Four foot nine. Woo! You you four foot nothing over there. How 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 is a four foot nine <laughs> how, how is a four foot niner driving a big rig? You feel me? I just I know I cannot do manual comfortably. I, I can't do that comfortably. I'm I'm an automatic girl, so <clears throat> I don't I'm, I don't ever say like I can't do it anymore. I just don't think it'll be comfortable for me to do a manual because I have to sit on the edge of the seat to hit the clutch. God damn it, man! Are are oh. are you restrict? Are you restricted to drive a uh, drive a absolutely? Autom- uh, so you're restricted <laughs> to drive uh, automatic. Absolutely. Ah <laughs> oh, man, that's crazy. That's crazy. I'm what they call a steering wheel holder. Uh, anyway, as long as you can get it, <laughs> as long as you can get it to and from work, that that that's all you need to do, man. That's all you need to do. China, that's all that matters. man, you know I I've been following you on Instagram and on TikTok for for quite a while, and. I, I like uh, I, I like what you do over there. You know, I like your little TikToks. I like your little Instagram. Not a fan of the TikTok app. Let me just throw that out there. But <laughs> but with TikTok, you 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 do you you does so much uh, so much skits, so much you know stuff like that on TikTok. Are you you in the group too? I, yeah, yeah, that is your group. Uh, China, what, what, what is mm-hmm. it? Trap, trap, truckers, truckers, trap, truck, tra- truck, tra- trappers. Yes, trappers. yes, sir. Mm-hmm. All mm-hmm. right, so you, you know, you've been doing the TikTok. You know, you and your husband been doing the TikTok together and all like that. But you mentioned uh, early in our conversation that you, you and him is going to stop trucking. Whoop. Why, why you decide to stop trucking with him and going out with another uh, trucker influencer? Do you, do you think that will will be a good idea? Because I've seen 
influencers try to <laughs> try to do the damn thing in trucking and it never works out. It it, it always ends badly. But what what was the reason for well, you to stop with him and and start with with uh with an, another influencer? Well, um, so my husband, he has a manual now. So we went from our company and he went to go get a manual because that, you know, how truck shortages are. And he found a really good deal on the manual, like he's going to pass it up. And he went to go get the manual and I had my things going on with TikTok. So it allowed me to stay home for quite some time. And um, he just, you know, wants we have a plan set up. I don't, I don't like to speak about things before they come about, but we have a plan coming up. But, you know, we stopped driving, and then um, I am actually missed the road so bad, and I just I just want to be back on the road again, too. So um, I didn't want to go alone, though. I did not want to do it alone, but if I had to, I would have. Uh, but I've been talking with this, particular influencer for a while and she's really cool like down to earth and her vibe is everything like you know and she she really didn't want me to go alone too so she she was off the truck for a while and uh, she wanted to get back on the road too so we just came up with the idea let's just do it together so y'all y'all and gonna like you, this was like you 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 oh, guys this is so like um I'm sorry. Oh no, I I, I was saying so this is showing like people. I was saying oh my God. I'm sorry. <laughs> No, no, no. I, I, I was saying that uh you guys both apply to the same company or you apply to her company or how how this gonna work no, for we, you guys? Yeah, we apply to the same company. We apply for the same company. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Uh small company or a mega company or is it something something that you found or something that she found it's a mega company and uh we just we just weighed options of who has the better pay and what would be good for us in the moment because i um and we we just we might do it short term because um you know i have a trucker strip coming up so <laughs> i really and i and I just don't want to drive through the winter time. I did it last year or this year. Not fun. No, I want to hibernate. I want to be able to hibernate in the winter time. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. That's what's <laughs> up. So let's get into the controversy, man. This uh. <sighs> oh lord. Oh my god. Well, let let me just <laughs> let, let me just let, let me just let me just say let me just say who we about to talk about. Uh, she is one of the. She is one of the larger uh, TikTokers on, you know, on the female trucking side. I had the pleasure, like many of you guys might not knew or know, I had the pleasure of talking to her before she became TikTok famous. If, if you know, I want I wanted to say that. So before she was TikTok famous, um i had the pleasure of talking to her as a matter of fact i had the pleasure of talking to her twice because she was linked up with okay. she was linked up with another female truck driver and they was promoting what was called trucker beauties at the time don't know what happened with that <laughs> but uh i'm sure there's a good story Take behind it yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm sure there's a good story <laughs> behind it, but I I did have the pleasure of talking to her. Um unfortunately, uh the relationship kind of soured between me and her along the way. I mean, I, I to be honest with you, I'm I'm not sure. I well, yes I do. I I think I know where the sourness came into play. But I still wished her well. You know what I'm saying? I still wished her well. You, you know, I, I still wished her well. She she got well over 1.7 million followers on TikTok. A lot of accolades came her way via TikTok. And it's just that, you know, some people have 
strong opinions about her. Other people love her. But in this particular situation, I'll, I'll, I'll let you, I'll let you explain it. So let us know what actually happened. All right, I'm telling you the story time about this because it's been bothering me for some months, low key. Because I'm like, damn, is it me? No, it's not me. Before I even got to the trucking game, I really looked up to her. So it it, it sucked that this is what she showing me. Anyways, y'all know I dropped the dazzle headsets. Bada bing, bada bang. And the day that I dropped my bedazzle headsets, mind you, people was uh tagging her in my video. Mind you, for months people have been tagging her on most of all my videos. But this was the only video she commented on. Now if you know you get mentions, you know you know mentions you can see mentions more than anything. So with this one, she seen the mentions. And she decided to comment on it to say it was her idea, basically, that I'm taking her idea. I don't want to comment because I blocked her, but she said something about she she's known by her headset by far. And I'm thinking like back when I made my headset in February, in February, when she made hers in June or July, go look at her page because it's pinned at the top of her profile. I'm thinking she's seen me. She's like, oh, that's cute. And she liked it and she did it. So I'm like, no, you know, no bad blood there. But she comes on my video and say that she's known by her headset by far. And she's glad that other people can thrive off her ideas and some shit like that. What? Then after all of this, like I go and I'm on my For You page and I see her on my For You page. You know, when you see people that you follow and say your friend, it didn't say your friend on there. So I go and look and she done followed me. So I'm like. What the fuck? It just be sad when people be fake, positive, fake, all this and that. But when you really get around them, they not like that. And I can swear on my life that I'm not the only female trucker that feels something from her. I can put that on my life. Anyways, y'all, I'm still doing my thing. Still going strong, still making my head set. I just let it be known. Cause babe, you got the right one. Hold up, I ain't with that. Devil try to get his leg back. Wow. Pull up, pew, spin back. Ow. Pull up, pew, spin back. Hold up, I ain't with that. Devil try to get his leg back. Wow. Pull up, pew, spin back. Ow. Pull up, pew, spin. So, um, I did. I wanted to put this behind me, but I just say it one more time because I am not pressed about nothing she got going on over there. She doing her thing. Can't deny that, but at the same time, just respect your other truck driver women that is in the game and just, you know, you're not the only person to do all of this. You're not the only person out there. You know, it's been plenty of truckers since since trucking been in the game. It's been plenty of female truckers. It has. but. Just, I just say, just don't claim titles. Don't claim titles that don't belong to you. That's it. That's all. But what happened between me and her was I um, I looked up to her, not going to lie. Not, I looked up to her. Well, before I even, like, got on the truck, when I was in trucking school, I just showed me her. And I was like, oh, my God. Like, oh, wow. And, um... You know, I followed her and it just, you know, it just was weird to me how when I started getting big off of trucking um, and mind you, I didn't, I didn't do TikTok because she did TikTok. I didn't do that. I just started doing TikToks in the truck and, you know, basing it off of what I go through on the truck, all my skits. Hold, hold up right See, quick. Hold, hold just, up right quick. You, 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 you don't have to apologize about that. Because not only you, I mean, a lot of females that started on YouTube for, you know, they, they all moved over to TikTok. All of them. They all moved, oh, yeah. they all yeah. moved over to TikTok. The females that I, have, yeah. that I had the pleasure of talking to, I, I met through YouTube. But 
15 to 20 to 30 percent of them that i have talked to them in the past that was doing youtube videos are now big right they're they're bigger on tiktok you know shout out to the females yeah. that that found the footing shout that found the it. following you know what i'm saying because i met a lot of tiktok females over there I like i just want to say shout out to all the female truckers out mm. there Exactly. Every single one of them. TikTok, no TikTok, no Instagram, no Facebook. Anybody who doing trucking and you're a female, especially if you are a black woman mm. doing it with kids, single mothers. I respect every single women tr woman truck driver to the utmost. Now, I, I, I respect men truck drivers too. I'm not mm. going. I'm not going. Not, well, you, say not, you, you say you're not gonna you say you're not gonna trip. Job. But again, they they all they they all got a following. They don't have a they don't have a biggest following as her, but they all have a significant follow. So there's no need to apologize about that. All right, go ahead, finish. Oh yeah. Um, so you know, got into got into uh doing TikTok. You know, and I, I tune into her lives. I comment on her lives and, like, I just seem like every time I would comment, she would skip over my comment. Like, we just probably the bottom. Okay, I'm an influencer, too. I get that you don't see it, but it happens every single time. And I was like, okay. And I was just confused. Like, that just gave me, like, a tick. Like, that just gave me, like, okay, hmm, maybe it's something here, but I might be, I might be tripping. Then... You know, everybody um, always mentions her in my videos. Like when I first came up and uh, if it's something that they want her to see, they mention her in the videos. She's never replied to none of the comments on my videos, never said anything, never, you know, never acknowledged anything. She don't owe me nothing. She don't owe me no acknowledgement. That's cool. That's fine. But when I drop my headset, I bedazzle headset and I sell them. So when I dropped the idea to bedazzle my headset, um, they they they're tagging her. This is the first time she has ever commented on any of my posts. Now so, I want to I want to stop I'm you like, right there. What what for the people that don't know because I already know because not only you, not only her, but a handful of other females does that too. What is exactly what is a bedazzled headset. <laughs> so a bedazzled headset um, is putting rhinestones in your headset, like little diamonds. I would describe them, put a little diamonds on your headset, giving it the pizzazz of I'm the farmer girl trucker because they don't make any. They don't really make any headsets designed for women. Make it, so, make it female. You know, make it pretty. And when I first, yeah, make it pretty. You know, we always got to do the extras for yeah, rugs. Go, and go a little, go a little you know, extra women, now. Yeah, we always got a little put a, put a little pizzazz on things, you know. So I, you know, I have an idea because when I first got into trucking, um, when I was in trucking school, which was February two thousand and twenty one, when I first got on the truck, I I went to um. I, I went to Pilot, got a headset, went to Walmart immediately after and bedazzled my headset. So make, I got make, that make it look, you know, make it date, make right? make it different. You 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 wanted to you yeah. wanted you wanted to stand out with your four foot nine self. Exactly. So when once I got, you know, once I got TikTok famous and I seen it was really a lot of other truckers out here, that became like a business. I I got that idea about October to start selling the headsets. And um, I didn't, I didn't act on it. I didn't speak on it because, like I said, I don't speak on things until it's done. So I've been, I've been having this idea to sell them since about October 2021, and um, I, I started selling them around March, May or March. Just I forget. Okay. But what? So with this particular post, when I first dropped my headset, she comments on it and says. Basically, it's not quotation, but it was basically like, I'm glad other women can thrive off of my idea. And then she commented again and said, I'm known, this is quotation, I'm known for my headset by far. 
So out of all the so, 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 I, so out of all of the so out of all the videos and all the back and forth, this was the video that she kinda commented on. Commented That's, on and made a big deal out one, of. This is she 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 was like trying to do it passive aggressive. Like she was trying to, you know, make it, you know, not as harsh as she wanted to do because she wants to flex and fly. She want to be this person that she, you know, she wants to be this person in people's eyes. And she didn't want to like, you know, come off as, Oh, I did it first. Like she had to do it in a way to, 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 you know, cover up her real intentions. And I'm like, wow. So, you know, now, and it's at the point where she follows me now. She follows me. Mm. And um, you know, but she, she wasn't. Now. But she wasn't following uh, you. She wasn't following you before all of this. She, I don't know when she. I seen she follows me. Like when I when she commented, I seen that she follows me. I'm like, damn, when did that happen? But then, um, you know, after I dropped the headset, you, I'm 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 on my for you page, and you know how your for you it says you're a friend. Right. Like if somebody comes up on your for you page and says your friend. Right. I seen her video and it didn't say your your friend. So this is like a couple of days after I dropped the headset. And I'm like, what the heck? So I go on her page and she pit she has at the top of her profile and I promise you when I went to go look and see, you know, she was following me, she did not have this video at the top of her page. She had the video of her bedazzled headsets that she made in July. Mm-hmm. July of 2021, and on the caption, it said the first female trucker headset. <laughs> so she pins this at the top of her page. She takes down her news story. One of them, she had three videos up there that was important videos, and she took one of those down to pin that headset at the top of her profile, and then I seen she unfollowed me. So what is that about? Wow. What 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 was that about? And it just blew my mind because I'm like, wow, you know, I looked up to you, bro. Like I really like, and just you doing these things and me hearing like, you know, that you are this way from other women. It's crazy that you gave that to me. You haven't even had a conversation with me because I'm so cool with a lot of female truckers, especially the 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 um influencers. It's so I know so many influencers because I am, you know, I'm I am a great person. I really am. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm gonna give myself that. I'm very I'm very humble. I'm very you know nice when I want to be. I'm nice. I'm. You know, I'm a great person and I don't really come across too much beef, too much drama. So um, I was just like, really like, wow, really over headsets? So I, you know, I got mad about that. I got mad about it because I was like, that that was just shifty. And um, I, I kept it to myself because, hey, it's a headset. People ain't going to like you. It's a headset. But then um, comes along. My friend, she tells me the one particular person that, you know, we came across, um, she comes to me and says, she said, like, she threw some shade at her and she was going through this medical condition at the time. So I didn't like that at all. So I was like, you know, I got to put this lady out here because I didn't put, I didn't, I didn't heard so many things about her that she do to these other women. I'm putting my story out there. I'm not going to put your story out there. I'm putting my story out there about what she did to me mm. so that people can really see what kind of person she is. Mm. So I did, I really did that for my friend. Okay. And it just, I, I really did a, you know, if it went viral, it went viral. That wasn't my intention. I was just putting it out there and sure as shit, you know, people come on there saying they see this, they see that, they see this, they see that. Okay. <laughs> so I'm not tripping. I'm not tripping at all. And um, next thing you know, the next day she gets on live. She she crucifies me on live. She mm. she talking so bad about me, calling me all type of bitches, and you know she calling me. And I have 
I somebody sent me a video of her talking crazy in his live, and because uh, I blocked her, and what? she goes on to say in the live, I, you know, people make videos about me all the time. People make videos about me all the time, mm -hmm. so I I can't be mad. But you went on live for forty five minutes talking about me for forty five minutes. I must have been on your mind, on your head, on your in your soul for months. For you to go on live about me and my video when you get videos made about you all the time. Now let me ask am you. Am I not? Am I? Am I saying something incorrect? Let me, now let me ask you this because on TikTok, like if you go if if you go live on Instagram and you end the live, it pretty much it unless you on Instagram it gives you an option to keep the live as a video on Instagram, YouTube. On the flip mm -hmm. side, when you go live on YouTube, it's it automatically stays up there unless the creator private or unlist the video. But on TikTok, mm -hmm. on TikTok, it don't give you that option. Once the live is over with, it's over with, right? Mm -hmm. So if you, if, if, of course, because that's what, drivers do this what people not just drivers but this what people do they screenshot they screen record they do all of that they do all of that mm -hmm. so you got wind of the video by somebody sending you a screen record of the video of her talking about you right yep I, yep wow mm. That's Emma. That's because people was on there riding for me, and they was getting blocked left to right, right to left. Wow. Hmm. And she and and I just if she watched this when you said post post them trucks with smiley faces. Guess how many people from your live did it? Only two. <laughs> <laughs> wow, China. Uh. That's crazy. And and this is coming from a quote unquote not only popular a female trucker that that can bring so much positivity into you know into the trucking sphere and and into whatever else that she got going on. But this is from a a, a popular TikToker with that many followers. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. This is it's crazy. It so, is crazy. So you say you you say and, she, and that's and that's why I confirm like I must have been on her head for months. I must have been in her soul. For her to have that many followers and worry about little old me with my a hundred thousand followers. Mm. Wow. Well, I'm, I'm, yes, I'm, I'm definitely sorry to hear that. You know, the to hear that controversy. There's nothing to be sorry about. There's <laughs> nothing to be sorry about. I didn't need nobody in my in my space like that anyway. Right. And that's and God don't play about me. He gonna show me who who need to be around and show me who don't need to be around. Wow, that's 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 crazy. I mean, I mean, I I I know of of social media beefs. I of course I've been a part of it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I've been a part. <laughs> I've, I've been a part of social media beefs, social media controversy. So. You know, I know, you know, the feelings and and how everything is. You know, sometimes it's just for me. I, it's it's just better for me I to like call talk it to a beef. Well, I, I don't see it as a beef either. I I, I just see it yeah, as Yeah, I wouldn't even call it as a beef. You gotta pay to beef for me. <laughs> <laughs> Since, it so costs a lot of money. Oh, God damn. Four nine says it costs a lot of money to beef with her. That's what's up. That's I love your mindset. Yeah. I definitely love your mindset on that one, man. 
Um, so of <laughs> course, uh, of of course, you know we, you know, I wish her well. Do you? Do you continue wish her well? Do you? Do you continue to watch Absolutely. her? I mean, do you do you watch her or anything like that? No, she's blocked, but I wish her well. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I wish I wish her pros- I wish her, wish her every deal she can get. I don't I don't that's you don't prosper in life like that. Wanting somebody to to fail and demise like she did to me. So mm. you don't you don't do that because she she said that about me. Hmm. That's what's up. You want me to fail, but but I don't want you to fail. That's the difference. People people pray and pray for people downfall. You know, I'm I'm sure she got, I'm I'm sure she got a handful of you know a, a handful of haters and stuff like that. You know that that's just watching her to see when to see if and when she falls and all like that. But me on the other hand, like I said, I I had the pleasure of talking to her. The conversation that we had both both times was was awesome conversations. So I I definitely wish her well. You know, I I just kind of wish that our relationship have you know our relationship didn't, didn't yeah. I, I kind of thank you, thank you. I kind of wish our relationship didn't <laughs> go left because. You know, at at one point, you know, I I really valued her as you know as a you know as an associate. I I don't know her personally, so I can't call her a friend. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's just my stance. If I if I haven't met you face to face, slap hands with you, sat down at the table with you, I can't consider you uh, my friend. But I can definitely consider you as Absolutely. an associate and a good associate at that. But of course, you know, down, you know, down the line, you know, watching how, you know, she she had mentioned me a few times. Uh, she mentioned me a few times on the reason why she, you know, why she don't mess with me no more, and and that's cool. You know, I I I get it. You know, ain't ain't no, you know, I get it. But I I still wish her well, and I'm sure you do too. Yeah, I do. But we we got to change the subject because she's getting too much of the time. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, China, you, you sell these uh, bedazzled headsets. How can how can the good females in the trucking community snatch up one of these headsets? Hold up. I ain't with that. That will try to get his leg back. Wow. Pull up. Pew. Spin. Back. Pull up. Pew. Spin. Well, if you are a woman and a truck driver, and I will have some men, you know, headsets available in a few, but if you're a woman and you have want a little pizzazz on your headset, um, you can get them at customizedtrucker.com and um, it's C-U-S. T O M I Z E D Trucker dot com. And right. I also have an Instagram page. Same, same handle. All right, all right. How can how how can people follow you, uh tr- uh China Trap? And before you even mention <laughs> that, how did you get the name? Like, where did China Trap come from? Well, um so in high school, I went by China my, my senior year in Tulsa. Because some people are be like, no, she didn't. <laughs> but in high school in Tulsa, um, one of my friends, she actually, Imani, shout out to you, Imani. Uh, she, she had a hard time, like, remembering my name. And she was like, you look like a China doll. And then I was like, just call me China. And she, they just stuck since ever okay. since because everybody always have difficulty remembering my name. So I've been going by China because I've heard that I look like a China doll multiple times. I used to go to school with like little rhinestones on the middle of my forehead and you know do makeup all crazy and like, but it was cute. So um, that's why I went by that because I used um, to do, I used to look 
really like a china doll. <laughs> really really cute all yeah right. like a china doll all right um how can they follow you how how can they how, how can they find you well if you want six seven eight triple nine eight two one two that's phone number i'm just kidding social boy <laughs> but my instagram is china trap china period trap and then my facebook is china trap two with two p's um, I do have a truck driving group, which you are a part of, thank and that's you, thank truck you. trappers. And um, TikTok, China trap as well. And the trap part came from I don't know where the trap part came from. I was just young, just trap that just sounded like really cute, <laughs> and it stuck. It stuck. <laughs> All right. Uh, before we get on up out of here, and again, thank you. I really appreciate the time. I really appreciate the story. Oh, Interesting. Thank you. Interesting story, man. But um, you, uh, how did your, how how did, how your husband feel about you now going out with a, with a, you know, with another female uh, influencer to do trucking? Uh, he, so he likes her. He's really cool with her. And, um, he wouldn't. He wouldn't let me like you know just go out with anybody. My husband is from Chicago. Okay. That should say a lot. Okay. You know, so, yes, sir. You know, so he just you know he's really high on safety with me, especially with me. Like he's really, really, really particular at how I do things and you know watch my back. He just that's really his only concern is my safety while I'm on the road and going into truck stop because as I'm with him, he already sees how people, you know, respond to me in truck stop. Yeah. So he, his main thing is just that I stay safe and that I don't, you know, be willy nilly out here just walking and mm -hmm. walking without no sense of no sense of my surroundings. Right. But I've learned over the years with him, you know, be safe, be cautious. When I go out with my friends, I, they get mad at me because I move like I move like a nigga. <laughs> I don't know. If, oh, I, I didn't even. <laughs> so they get mad at me because I'm like, "Dang, what dude doing over there?" Like, you know, you see that? Like, I see things. You see things that other people don't see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see things that you know only a guy would really just see, like somebody reaching in their pocket or like somebody moving weird. Like, I just I see that. And he taught me to be like that, be that way, which I'm glad because I've gotten out of a lot of situations because of that. So that's really just his whole only high concern is me and my safety. That's what's up. That's what's up. China Trap, thank you very much, ma'am, for coming on and uh, taking the time because you're you're extremely busy. I mean, we've been going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, but. You know, we finally finally made a little bit of time to come on and chop it up. I really do appreciate you coming on and and hollering at your boy and giving me the time and and telling your story and everything. I really enjoyed the conversation with you, man. I did too. I just had to get some things out the way. Somebody slashed my tires a few days ago, so yeah, we yeah we, I just we had gotta, to get that fixed. We we gotta look. We we gotta get that ring doorbell so we can catch that nigga. No. <laughs> oh well, I live. I live in a. I live in like a high rise, so it was in the garage. It was in front of the camera. So we gonna figure out who did it. You slashed my tire. Guess what? I gotta fix the next day. Thank you, Stink. <laughs> That's you really, what's up. You, you really. <laughs> you you, you well, did me a favor. I was supposed to get some new tires oh, anyway. Yeah, I appreciate you. Thank huh? you. I said he did you a favor. You were supposed to get some tires anyway. Actually, I, it was a little bit past due. I think it was actually an accident. They were probably looking for somebody else because I ain't got no beef with nobody in Atlanta. Exactly. I ain't got no beef with nobody. <laughs> exactly. China so Trap. They probably just made a mistake. China Trap. Yeah, thank you so much. It was so nice meeting you. Thank you. And, and it's I my hope pleasure. We do this again. Oh, we will, we will do it again. Guys, y'all know the best conversation starts over here at the Lockout Men Podcast Show. Y'all know what's up. If y'all want to jump on it, 
If y'all want to jump on the line and get it and get it in with the lockout men, y'all know how to do that. 216-600-2090. Shout out to China Trap. Much success to you on TikTok, trucking, and everything else that you got going on with the bedazzled headsets and everything. Much, uh-huh. much blessings to you. Much blessings to you, my good sir. All right, all right. That's gonna do it for that's gonna do it for us, everybody. Y'all take it easy. Peace. Hold up, I ain't with that. That will try to get his leg back. Wow. Pull up, pew, spin back. Pull up, pew, spin back. Hold up, I ain't with that. That will try to get his leg back. Wow. Pull up, pew, spin back. Pull up, pew, spin. Hold up, I ain't with that. Try to get his leg back. Wow. Pull up, pew, spin back. Pull up, pew, spin back. Pull up, I ain't with that. That will try to, I ain't with that. That will try to get his leg back. Wow. Pull up, pew, spin back.